What's up guys? It is that time of year where I have to renew my CompTIA. So welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your friendly neighborhood IT girl Sierra here to tell you how to update that CompTIA to 2023 because it has officially been three years since I have been certified and it's time for me to do that. So we're going to talk about how I did it this time around and if I were to have to do this all over again, how I would do it now in 2023 with the material that's available now and um, there's the, the whole new test. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is how I actually did it this year. And because they have done a whole revamp on this whole thing, you know, they made the whole new test. Um, they actually also made new ways for you to renew your certification as well. So I took advantage of that and I chose the easiest route possible to renew my certification, which was using this thing called CertMaster. And basically what it is, is it's like just guided reading. Um, it follows the five main domains, but it also just gives you a little bit, it's about a page for each portion of the domains. Like it has several different uh, topics that it covers within each domain, but it's about a page worth of information for each one. And it doesn't go super in depth. I will say that. So it's, enough to understand as an overall more or less, but you really do need to understand the material to still pass this test. However, once you get the cert master and you pay for it, you have basically an unlimited amount of tries to pass this, this cert master to renew your, your certification. Um, you just have to get 100% on each one of your domain tests, basically. So there are five domains each one of the tests that you take at the end of reading the, the material for each of these domains, you have to get 100%. And if you don't get 100%, you can retake it as many times as you need to, to get that 100%. However, it's not always the same question. Sometimes they'll change the questions within it. Sometimes they'll change the order of the questions, like things will get different. However, it does seem to be that a lot of the questions do repeat if you have to retake the same test. Um, but other than that, it's like, if you read the material and you understand what it is already, like you've already gotten certified, you already kind of work with computers, you should be pretty much okay to, to redo this. I did have to retake like one, uh, domains one and two were very, very easy. Um, didn't really take that much effort. I think I missed one question on each one of their, their exams, um, for those two domains. And then I had to retake each one just to get that 100% because it has to be hundred percent. Uh, but once I got to uh, domain three, that one was a lot. That is a big section. So just FYI, if uh, they say it takes about eight hours to complete this whole cert master. Once I was going through one and two, I did that in about an hour and a half. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so simple. It's going to be maybe less than five hours. But then, like I said, I got to domain three and that was a lot of information. And then domain four was also a lot. And five was not as much, but still a lot. So it progressively gets more robust but yeah all that's all you have to do and it's not that hard you can do it in a single day okay so now moving into 2023 how i would go about this let's take a look all right now let's talk about how you can pass the new comptia exams if you are taking this exam for the first time in 2023 and you're doing the 1101 and or the 1102 which is core one and core two the new versions so I'm going to say, if you have not seen my video on this previously um, or the updates on it, go ahead and check those out because a lot of the information is still applicable. However, we're going to go over uh, what people are doing currently. And like I said, Professor Messer still going strong. So that is someone you should definitely check out. He knows what he's talking about. It is tried, true information um, that is geared towards the updated version of the exam. Secondarily, we have the Jason Dion, who I've seen popping up all over the place, and his practice exams on Udemy, which if you are another person who's gone to WGU, Western Governors University, you'll know that we get Udemy for free. So make sure that you are utilizing that service and using these Jason Dion practice exams there. So that seems to help people out quite a bit, just making sure that you get that practice out of the way. In addition, Quizlet. I've mentioned this previously as well, that helped me out a lot when I was first getting my certification. The Quizlet questions really help you to um, know what the questions look like because the way that the questions are worded in these exams is part of the, part of the struggle. So you wanna make sure that you understand exactly what the question is asking for because it's, I don't think that they're really trying to trick you per se. Like I don't think it's that intentional or that malicious. It's just that, 
they're worded really funny. So you just want to make sure that you're understanding what the question is asking for. Um, Mike Myers, still applicable stuff. Uh, he's introduced his new material as well. So you make sure that you check those out. Again, I personally enjoy Mike Myers. I find him to be very entertaining in the sort of IT crowd kind of way. So I very much recommend him. You can also grab any one of Mike Myers books from my Amazon store. I have already set up a CompTIA A plus section for you guys. So feel free to check that out. The link will be in the description as well. Some new things that are popping up that I'm seeing are the CompTIA A plus podcast on Spotify by Third Leg Technologies. I don't think that this was around when I was studying for my exam. So this is probably something that could be really useful for people who are in the car for long periods of time or, you know, like just traveling back and forth or maybe you're at work and you don't have time to really dive into something visual and you can just listen to this. So that again, the CompTIA A plus podcast on Spotify by Third Leg Technologies. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody who wants to get certified in 2023 is able to, and hopefully these, um, this advice is somewhat useful to you. If it is, drop a comment down there, drop a like, you know, say hey. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.